I was actually told that the difference between us humans and all the rest of the animal kingdom was a difference in kind. We were separated from the rest. There was a sharp line. We were on a peak. And that was ignoring all the wisdom of Darwin. And gradually, because the chimps are so like us uh, biologically, science began to change the way it thought. And when Hugo van Lauwek sent the photographer sent by the Geographic, when his films became available, it was just very obvious that everything I was talking about was true. I don't think I can pinpoint a moment in time when I really felt the chimpanzees had accepted me. But there were some moments which remain vivid in my mind, which showed the extent to which eventually I was accepted. One is when the old female Flo had an infant, Flint. And she wasn't totally happy with me. Nevertheless, when her infant was five months old and just beginning to totter, uh, move away from her. And on this particular day, I was sitting on the ground and Flint was tottering towards me, staring with those big, innocent eyes. And Flo was a little bit worried. She had her hand around him, and she had a little worried pout on her face. But she let him come, and she let him reach out and touch my nose. And that was a moment I will never forget. And then the other one was, again, dear David Greybeard. And I was following him one day, and he went through a tangle of vegetation. I lost him. Well, never mind, I'd find him another day. But when I got through that tangle, there was David sitting on the ground, looking back as though he was waiting for me, and maybe he was. So I sat down near him, and on the ground between us was a lovely, ripe red oil palm nut. And chimpanzees love them. So <clears throat> I picked it up and held it towards him on my hand, and he turned his face away. He obviously didn't want the nut, but um, a bit cheekily, I put my hand closer, and he turned round. <clears throat> he looked directly into my eyes and reached out. He took and dropped the nut, but then very gently squeezed my fingers. And that's how chimpanzees reassure each other. So in that moment, there was a connection between us he understood my motive were good, even though he didn't want the nut. And I knew that he knew. And so we communicated in a way that must have predated human language. And I think that moment, I think I knew, I think at that moment I committed myself to staying with and learning about and helping to conserve chimpanzees. <laughs>